It is a case described as simply shocking by the police, the biggest case of serial sex abuse ever investigated. Tonight, a gang of five men from Derby has been convicted of systematically grooming and sexually abusing teenage girls. The leaders of the gang are said to be Abid Mohammed Sadiq and Mohammed Rahman Lirkat, both married with children. This CCTV footage shows their gang preying on young girls on a street in Derby. These girls walked away, but another 26 came forward to say they'd been the victims, the youngest of whom was 12. Many of the victims were given alcohol or drugs before being forced to have sex in cars, rented houses or hotels across the Midlands. One girl described a sexual assault involving at least eight men. Thirteen men were charged in relation to the case known as Operation Retriever. Nine have been convicted of offences ranging from rape to false imprisonment. Well, we're joined now live from Nottingham by Sheila Taylor from Safe and Sound, an organisation that's worked in partnership with Derbyshire Police, helping young people at risk of sexual exploitation. Um, can I just ask you, first of all, Sheila Taylor, um, is this, does it all begin online? No, no, it didn't begin online. Um, this is a pattern of grooming that we see across the UK and uh, with our negotiation with Derbyshire Police we managed to um, get them to understand what it looked like and then when they saw it within their cases we were, were able to investigate it and we came out with this result. Well now these convictions have been secured and we're kind of limited by law by quite how much we can say beyond that but um, I mean is this it or is if we just stick for a moment to Derby, uh, is there more of a problem out there than has yet been cracked? The number of young people that are known to our project, this is just a small number. Um, sexual exploitation is uh, more prevalent than people understand. Um, and what about nationally? Well, nationally, we've just done... Um, uh, a survey, but part of my role is chair of the National Working Group for Children and Young People Sexually Exploited and we've just done a survey of our projects and uh, 53 projects told us that last year they had 4,206 referrals made to them. Now that's a substantial amount of young people but represents less than, um, well I don't know, a quarter of our uh, local authorities um, don't have dedicated responses. So. And the, the, the young women and the girls who were caught up in Operation Retriever, uh, what's been the effect of this appalling activity upon them? Well, it's devastating. Um, any rape or sexual abuse of any description, any sexual assault is devastating to an individual. But... Uh, when it's, when it's this form of sexual exploitation, it takes a long time for children to recover. They need full therapeutic intervention and full care around them. And to what extent does this case encourage you to believe, because this is after all the largest case of its kind ever, encourage you to believe that this is now a serious priority and will secure more arrests? Well, I think just by having this investigation and this prosecution means that people can learn from it and can look at it in their areas and see if they've got it. For me, there is all of that hidden agenda, uh, women who abuse young men, young women, men who abuse other men. There's a whole raft of sexual exploitation that we're not seeing, as we've seen in, in the recent spate of uh, court cases. Sheila Taylor, thank you very much indeed for joining us.